So as always we will start our project with the circuit diagram which is so simple in this video as this video only includes three components that is Arduino Nano, LCD and a potentiometer to set the brightness of LCD. Now grab all the components and start connecting according to the circuit diagram. Here I am using Arduino Nano but you can use any microcontroller of your choice. Now don't use the LCD which comes with the I2C interface. Now after connecting all the components, connect your Arduino with your PC or laptop and open Arduino IDE and go to files, select examples, select wire and then select I2C scanner. So this is the original code on which our code is based. Now according to our project requirement, I have used here liquid crystal library along with its required data now go to tools and select proper settings and hit the upload button After uploading the code, remove the USB cable as always and connect the wires to V-in and ground pin to supply external 5V. Now you may think why I am adding external power. It is because LCD needs more current to work perfectly which cannot be provided by the USB connection. Now the LCD shows device not found because we have not connected any I2C device yet. Now grab some I2C devices for testing and connect them as usual. Now here I am connecting MPU 6050. So here we get the I2C address which is 0x68 which you can check online as well now let's check the i2c address of OLED display now here we get the i2c address as 0x3c now let's check the i2c address of this VL53 LOX lidar sensor Now here we get as 0x29. Till now you have heard that every sensor has its own unique I2C address. But there exist two modules that is MPU6050 and this RTC module which has the same I2C address which is 0x68 which means you cannot use both of them in the same project at the same time. So there do exist a solution for this problem which is the topic of our next video. So stay tuned for that and I hope you have learned something new as always if yes then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for future update. Also you can follow us on Instagram and support us through Patreon. The links are given in the description of this video.